Hey everybody, welcome back to the studio. I hope you're all doing well. Today I want to take a few minutes to talk about these babies. The Mike Parts SDC84 Small Diaphragm Condenser. Not the high SPL version you've seen me use on the snare. These are the straight up SDC84s. And like the number suggests, they are a Neumann KM84 inspired microphone. And they do a really good job. Recently on the Ultimate Studio Zinc Live Broadcast Friends Facebook page, there was a little discussion about large diaphragm condensers or small diaphragm condensers for overheads. If you want to see that whole discussion, go join the page. It's free. Come hang out with us. If you've seen any of my videos, you know that I lean towards large diaphragm condensers. I just like the way they pick the kit up. And since I use overheads kind of for my full, uh, like general picture of the kit, regardless of style or genre, I like the size that I get from a large diaphragm condenser, kind of that beef. And generally, you'll get a little bit of rounding of the transients with a large diaphragm condenser as well. Now on the flip side, your small diaphragm condensers are usually very articulate, a little faster, so they give you really good transient response, very good articulation, especially if you have a lot of notes going, you know, or there's subtleties in the playing, you know, a lot of times you see small diaphragms with metal and jazz or hard rock because you get that articulation where you have a lot of notes happening. For me, almost always go large diaphragm. But since we had another song coming up for the songs from the studio series, Ernesto and I said, let's switch it up. A lot of things we switched up, and that included the overheads. Right out of the gates, the first thing Ernesto said when he heard them is, wow, the cymbals are silky smooth, really nice. That's probably attributed to the slight roll off starting about 10K, which is really similar to the Neumann KM84, which is why so many engineers love them. They're not, that does not make them dull. There is plenty of top end. It just doesn't make them harsh, which is why they're very pleasing to the ear. The first thing I noticed was how articulate it was, especially with the snare. They also handled the volume really well. I'm not the loudest drummer, but I was for this session I was playing pretty loud and you can see even in the intro of this video, you know, I'm playing kind of normal like rock drummer loud volume. Handled it with no problem. Plenty of headroom going into the console. So what I want to do here is just demo these mics. There's a lot of mics going on here. You're going to have to wait for the third song from Songs from the Studio to hear any of this other stuff. Before I have to tear this kit down for the next session, I wanted to do a quick demo of these because I just thought they sounded great and I wanted to share that with you guys. I'm also going to use one of the kick mics in the front just to even out the bottom end on some of the performance. And that's it. We're just gonna check these babies out. So, Mike Parts SDC84, go check them out. I think you'll dig them. I'll see you guys in the next video.